I'm going to show you how to install and use the Facebook Like for Marketers plugin today. Uh, first of all, when you go into your blog, uh, over in the navigation here on the left, you'll see one that says Plugins. And you can either click the little arrow to show these and click Add New right here uh, from the submenu of Plugins. Or if you're looking at your Plugins page, you can just click Add New up at the top. So search for something like Facebook Like for Marketers. And that'll pull uh, this Facebook Like for Marketers up right at the top. Click Install. And then from this screen, you click Install Now. So now the plugin's installed, and you have the option to activate it right away. So we'll click Activate Plugin. And now you have the plugin installed. So now again over in this navigation, if you click the little arrow right here to display the submenu for settings, you'll see Facebook like button shows up right here. And by clicking that, you get to the page where you can see all of the settings for uh, managing your Facebook like button. Okay, so the, the, the settings are pretty straightforward. Uh, to, right off the bat, you want this checked. I think in most cases, enable plugin for all posts and pages. There is a widget available if you want a, a more customized approach. I think this is going to be the easiest, so, so it defaults to checked. So the global site name uh, is one of the mechanisms used to, to customize how the, when somebody clicks the like or the recommend button, how that will show up in their profile. Um, you also have the option to uh, adjust the height and the width of the button, and uh, I mean, you know, several options here. And as you change these, you'll see a preview of the button that, that appears down here. Uh, show faces is whether or not you want uh, to show faces, and I'll show you. In fact, here, why don't we? I've got show faces as yes, and let's go into a page. Show faces means, like you see right here, it will show you a thumbnail image of whoever likes this that you happen to be friends with. So it says, Daniel Watchress and one other person like this. If there were other of my friends that like this, their faces would show up too. So uh, that's show faces. Layout, uh, there's standard or button count. And button count, um, you know, let's just update here and I'll show you what that looks like. Button count shows up as just a, a number. So there are two people that like this. So I tend to like the standard because it gives a little bit more of a call to action. The next thing to notice is you've got the verb uh, to display, and that would be like or recommend. So recommend and like, they just change what shows up next to the little thumbs up button. Um, recommend, I think, is a little more uh, keyed to news sites, and like would be a little more keyed to things that people might have um, just an interest in. Uh, and then the color scheme. You can do light or dark, and um, you know, evil was part of their, their example, but I don't really see a difference in the actual color scheme. So uh, th those are the settings. When you're done, you click Update Settings. And now the plugin is working on your site, and it'll automatically show up on the pages throughout your site, uh, right down at the bottom of each post. Now, there's another thing you can do with this, and let's just have a look. If you go to Create a New Post, and you scroll down to the bottom, what you'll notice is that there's now a new section, and this is configurable for each page and each post. You can customize the title, you can customize the site name, and you can even add an image that will show up as, as part of somebody liking that uh, particular page. So you can use these to tweak how things show up in the person's profile and how they might get links back. So, so in other words, you can put a call to action title. Um, now, if you leave these blank, the site name will pull from the global site name we already saw. Title will pull from the title of the post itself, and image will be uh, left out. So th those are a few of the, the additional things you can configure on a per page basis, and that's really the strength of this uh, like button. Uh, you know, it's more important to be able to configure how it shows up in... Um, in another in in your profile, so that the the title is a call to action and it's compelling. 
So I hope that helps you with, with a few of the questions. Please post comments down below this video and uh, we'll get back to you with answers. Um, and also hopefully plan out what the next version will have. Thanks. Bye.